welcome to our youtube channel bike boost i hope you all are doing good and in the last session we have covered how you can use xlookup plus filter to get the multiple values from the various columns and if you haven't watched that videos the link has been given above you can check out that video and in this video we are going to learn about how you can use power pivot table as you have already seen in the youtube thumbnail so we have to match two tables we will have one specific column where it would be the specific unique values so one would be the one would be the primary and second would be the secondary table from where we are going to fetch all our values so how we are going to do that so we are going to learn in this video but before to that if you are new to this channel you haven't subscribed and do subscribe and mm, press the bell icon so that whenever we will upload the video you will get the notification now without any delay let's jump into the topic so as you can see here we do have this table simply you select this table till down and we have here power pivot go to the data model and here as you can see it's selecting from one a row that we don't want it so we want skip the second row or simply you can click like this so as you can see here it is highlighting that we are going to take this data range so once you will click on ok it will take you to the query table so let's wait for a while okay so now we are in this query table so we have here the first row that is our headers and second one what we would like to take is if we will go to this diagram where we are going to link so now we do have this table again we want to update the second huge data sheet and to do that i'll go to the data sheet and again i'll go to the power pivot and aid data model so as you can see here this data model has been selected and it is telling my table has headers yes we do and once you will click on ok that data will be updated here so once it will get updated so as you can see here this two tab has been added here table 13 and table 14 so now we will go to this and we will see okay this one is the big data sheet and this one is our table where we would like to connect with the huge data so now if we will connect segment with segment what will happen it is saying if you have the duplicate values in one columns it will not get connect so whenever we are connecting one table to another it should be a unique values for example i'll connect this one with this one now as you can see here it's got connected and simply it is showing that this table it connected with this one so now what i want to do is i want to create a pivot table out of it so once i'll click on this it will ask where you want to create your pivot table so i just want to create a pivot table in existing sheet and that is segment and here i just would like to create a pivot table so once you will click this pivot table will get created now as you can see here we do have this values so now i want this segments values should be linked with this so once i'll check the segments i want this profits this should be show accordingly again i'll go to this sheet and i'll go to the show fill and as you can see here we do have two tables here one is table 13 and table 14 now from the table 13 and from the table 14 i just want a value uh, from the segment so I'll map it here and uh, again I want to check um, this country wise 
so now we do have this countries and I want to check what is the units sold here in each countries so once I'll go and I'll see that okay something went wrong it is not showing correct I'll show you what is I'll tell you what is the reason that why it's not getting showing it's why it's not showing the correct values so for so now I'll do this vice versa I'll uh, remove this one and uh, what I'll do is I'll take the segments to the row and uh, countries in the column and from here we do have the gross sales I'll add it to the values boom it is uh, showing everything fine and the uh, Canada is showing this values France it is showing this values so everything is fine but why previously when we were trying to connect uh, this first table to second table or from the first table where we are taking the segments the value did not come correct I'll tell you okay so so far you understood how we can connect one table to another table and let me correct this one let me select this and align this one okay now we will align this one and we will highlight so it is showing correct now and even if you will take sales price from the first table it will show fine that in uh, Canada it is channel partner it is showing 24 Germany it is showing 24 and again it is enterprise it's showing 250 a government so all values are coming correctly but once we are uncheck everything let's say from here and from this table uh, this is our uh, this table what we have created and in this table from where we wanted to get the values from the big table it is not showing correctly for example again if I'll put it to uh, this segment into the rows and country to the columns and I want a gross sales from the big data so what will happen let's see so as you can see here it's all messed up it's not showing the correct value but what is the reason so that reason we can get it here okay so as you can see here this data this one is showing is connected with small one not small one is connected with this one so this data this big data can fetch values from this table 13 but table 13 cannot fetch the values from table 14 it will go wrong so how we can correct it simply right click on edit relationship uh, so here we can delete and we will delete the model okay so now that relationship has been deleted now what I want is this ID should be connected with this so now what will happen so now this one is connected with this one that means this one table this table 13 can fetch the values from table 14 now so let's see whether if it is working or not and before to do that as you can see it's already done we didn't do anything but now it's working fine so I hope you understand how this two tables works how you can get the table uh, second table values from the table of uh, one values or how you can use table two values to get the table one values but still if you have any doubt any queries you can write on the comment section and you can ask your queries so till that time stay tuned with byte boost take care and bye bye